Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well and it feels like so long since I've made my last video and I thought it was time to make something new and as you can tell from the title, I'm going to be talking about eyelash perm. So I'm going to talk about my experience. I'm going to talk about the pros, the cons and all that good stuff. So without talking anymore, let's begin. Okay, so every time that I try something new as far as beauty related for my nails, hair, skincare, whatever it is, I like to use Ebates and Groupon. That way I'm not only getting one discount but double offer. So what I like to do, I use Ebates and then Groupon. And basically if you use my invitation link for Ebates, then you're going to get $10 off. And I already made a video on how I use this site in case you want to check it out. It's going to be in the description box. So what is the difference between eyelash perm and eyelash extensions? In case you're not familiar with the process because I didn't know before. So basically eyelash extension, they apply hair by hair. This process can take about an hour. And the two type of hairs that they might give you are mink lashes or hair imitation. Me, because I have a vegan lifestyle, I went for the hair imitation and basically um, like I said it's a process that takes about an hour so they have to apply hair by hair by hair and then for an eyelash perm the main difference is that they give your own lashes a curve basically with your own lashes they appear like they are bigger okay so my experience Basically, I got to the salon and they sat me by the entrance, which to be honest, I wasn't too comfortable doing that because in the past when I have done my eyelash extensions, they have like cubicles, like dividers, like your own little room. You lay down and they will start the whole process. But in this place that I went to, I was by the entrance and that made me feel a little bit uncomfortable. I, I didn't like the idea of being by the entrance and people coming in and out and looking at me just laying down with my eyes closed. Thankfully, not a lot of people were there. I think it was the day and the time that I went. But if it would have been a busier day, then I I would not have liked that. But that's just my own preference. What I did like is that across the street, there was a field of cows. And especially here in South Florida, that is so rare to see it. You never, at least me, I, I didn't grow up seeing cows. So whenever I see cows, I get excited. I think they're so cute. Um, so that's something I did enjoy seeing. Okay, so as far as the process, it took about two hours and a half. So the whole time I had my eyes closed and I had them really tightly closed because of my bad experience with the eyelash extension, which I already made a video on that. And I was trying to avoid any chemicals going into my eyes. I just didn't want my eyes to get burned with any sort of ingredient that they apply so i was being really careful with that so i didn't get to see what they were doing i just kind of felt what they were doing and asking the lady um so she applied a few things um from what i've seen on other videos they kind of apply kind of like um like a foam that's round and that will help to make the hairs attached to that and be able to make that curve and then they apply other products that will help the hair stay in that shape overall it was relaxing and the lady was really nice and friendly so that i did like
Okay, the pros. What did I like? Okay, first of all, I thought it looked really nice. I just liked looking at my lashes and seeing that curve, seeing my own lashes be way up high. So that was really amazing to me. Another thing that I liked is that I didn't have to apply mascara. So in consequence, I saved a lot of time on my makeup, doing my morning routine makeup for going to work. So that to me was a great benefit, not using mascara and saving time on doing my makeup. Another thing that I liked is that the perm will last more than getting eyelash extensions. Eyelash extensions, they last about two weeks maybe, or even less if you wanna do the refill, but with the eyelash perm, it lasted about a month or even a little bit more. For me, it was about a, a month and a half, sort of. So that was something I liked too. Cons. I'd say I like the perm 90%. The 10% I didn't like is that I was not able to apply eyeliner. And the reason is because the eyelash perm, at least in my case, my hairs were way up, almost touching the skin, like really close to the skin. So it was so hard to get the eyeliner and draw a line. So that was the only thing I did miss doing. Right now, I... I have I still have a few hairs that are up but it's really subtle so right now I can do my eyeliner which I love doing but with the perm I was not able to do that. My final verdict would I do it again? Do I recommend it? Well, at this point I'm not sure if I would do it again. It's like a yes or no just because I am so scared of something bad happening because of my bad experience with the extensions. And with any of these type of things that we try out, we always risk some chemical getting into the eye and burning the eye, which happened to me. And it was really bad when it lasted a few days. I was really scared because it hurt so much. So right now, I'm open to the idea of trying new things, um, but I don't know which one I'm gonna do next. Um, would I recommend it? Yes. I think it's a good idea to always try new things and see what we like and that way we can compare places, prices, and see what we like the best. Okay guys, so that's my experience with eyelash perm. I really hope this video was helpful and gave you an idea in case you haven't done it before. I can't wait to try something new next time and make a video on that. Let me know if you have done this before. Let me know in the comments or any other future video ideas that you want to see on this channel. Thank you so much for watching as always and I'll see you guys in the next video. Kisses! Bye!